Shifting focus to Bihar now, where a lot is happening on the political front. Indian Cabinet Minister Pashupati Paras, who hails from the state, has resigned from his post after his party was denied seats by the National Democratic Alliance. Now, there are reports of Paras joining the opposition camps and a probable split in his own party. We decode the fast-paced political rumblings in our next report. The battle for Bihar is expected to be one of the most engrossing contests in the upcoming general elections. Led by the BJP, the National Democratic Alliance swept the state last time, winning 39 out of 40 seats in the 2019 Lok Sabha polls. However, the NDA's vote share was just about 35%. This time, the NDA is eyeing all seats. The seat-sharing formula is sealed. The BJP will contest 17 seats, the Janata Dal United 16, Chirag Paswan's LJP 5 and HAM and RLS one seat each. But will it be a 2019 rerun for the NDA? Most likely not. JDU chief Nitish Kumar is seeing an erosion of support. This may have something to do with his Paltu Ram or turncoat image. The opposition has labelled the Bihar chief minister as the man who switches sides and cannot be trusted. NDA's smaller alliance partner LJP is not as formidable as it used to be in 2019 under late Union Minister Ram Vilas Paswan. The defection of Ram Vilas's brother Pashupati Paras from the NDA fold is also likely to hurt the alliance further. The Dalit votes that make up much of LJP's vote bank is expected to be split between the factions of Chirag Paswan and his uncle. The BJP on the other hand is the only strong force in the alliance at the moment but that does not guarantee the alliance a comfortable win like 2019. The opposition, on the other hand, is gaining more partners. The left front has joined hands with the Congress-RJD Grand Alliance, although the seat-sharing deal is yet to be finalized. The Congress that won the only seat for the opposition last time in Bihar is bolstered with Rahul Gandhi's Nyaya Yatra, which was a crowd puller in the state. Talking about crowd pullers, former Deputy Chief Minister Tejashwi Yadav continues to be the single largest crowd getter in the state at the moment. The son of RJD Supremo Lalu Yadav is the most popular leader in the state, especially after the 2020 state assembly polls. In 2019, the party got 15.7% votes on its own. But with Tejashwi leading the attack this time, the vote share is likely to increase. Will the Grand Alliance be able to convert the crowds to votes? And if it does, how much will it hurt the NDA? All eyes will be on June 4th to reveal the answers. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.